All right, little bugs, take your love vitamin. Peekaboo, who wants to be in a relationship with you? Let's take a look and look and see what the cards are going to reveal. Peekaboo, what you need to know about this person that wants to be in a relationship with you? Peekaboo, what they need to know about the person that wants to be in the relationship with them? Y'all got soulmate energy all around you. This is a person that views you as their soulmate. They think that you are just a one for them, period. It says your soulmate is already with you in spirit. Believe this and they will manifest physically. All you have to do is believe it. You do not have to discuss it with anybody else. Believe it and watch the magic happen. Now, the message for you is this right here. It is important right now to take a step back and spend some time alone. Instead of placing your focus on another, now is the time to give to yourself. Keep doing what you're doing because your soulmate is already a part of your spirit, honey. Peekaboo! This person will be in a relationship with you. All right, let's take a look. Let's see who this person is. Who is the soulmate, Holy Spirit? Who is the soulmate, Holy Spirit? Who is the soulmate? Oh, God. It could be a Capricorn. Does not have to be anything dark. I started to say something dark. Now, to be honest, this could be someone who has um, bad habits. They could be obsessed with you. Could definitely be very attached to you, connected to you. When people do have spiritual connections, it could be... Um, a little bit much at times, especially when you don't understand, know everything that you need to know about your personal connection. But this is a person right here that's like, nah, this is not just a fling. Nah, this person did not just run by my life just to run by. I met this person for a reason. So here's this Capricorn coming towards some of you all. Um, This is also a person here that their hand is out. Let's see. Oh, Lord, it's a lot with this person. The Four of Wands, the Lover's Card, the Seven of Pentacles inverted, the Nine of Wands, and the Seven of Cups. Ooh, the Nine of Cups. This is a person that feels like you are wish fulfillment to them. For some of you all, they could have been on wait. There could have been a delay. They delayed something. Or a connection was delayed for various reasons. But now this is a person that feels like they, they're ready to make an offer. They can make an offer. They're a little anxious about the matter. But they're very hopeful. This You are the kind of person they even wanted to be with. Wanted to connect with. Now, I need to say this to keep this 100% honest. Somebody here has a soul tie with a person. Or a person has a soul tie with you. Excuse me. And they feel like you are their soulmate. You may not feel that way because they played mind games with you. So some of you all have a person that just has Capricorn placements. It may be in their seventh house. That's the house of partnership, the house of relationship, the house of marriage. That's your soulmate. Others of you all, this is somebody here that could have been, you know, devilish to you before, obsessed with you before. There could have been a strong attachment a soul tie, you release this person, you stop waiting on this person, or well, that person feels like, no, I do feel like you're the one for me. I played these mind games because I just wanted to have sex with you. So there's a soul tie through sex for some of you all. Others of you all, this is a person that feels like you are their soulmate. You are wish fulfillment, and they want to manifest and materialize this connection. What's the four of wands and the lovers card here? Peekaboo, this is who's going to be in a relationship with you. What's the four of wands and the lover's card? The five of pentacles. This person is lonely, bored. Um, Their life is not what they want it to be because they don't have, it's like they don't have what they feel that they need. Oh, like Ply said, this is a person that feels, that realizes I need companionship. I need relationship. I need the four of wands. I need this lover. I need that strength. I need this person. They're not desperate, but they see the need of you to be in their life. And they also see that they that you, you could or you should need them. They need this love. What's the seven of pentacles here? What's the seven of pentacles inverted? Damn. You're not waiting anymore. 
this this is not going to be long last. This is not going to be like a long time before this materializes. This is getting ready to take off pretty fast here, honey. Somebody here, your 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 uh your soulmate is materializing. You couldn't see it. For somebody here, I feel like you couldn't see this here because it was being developed. You know how a baby is born and they have to be is in the in the um incubator when they're like a preemie. Something was premature here. Now it has maturity. Now it's ready. Now it can be stable. Now it can be solid. Now it can be now it can be meaningful. Now it can be real. There was a relationship that could have been delayed. Your soulmate. Because maybe you were ready, but they were not. Maybe you were prepared, they were not. And that's what held this person back. Now, the very thing that held them back is the very thing that's pushing them towards you. And the reason why he or she is holding on, latch on to you. What's the nine of swords, the page of cups, and the nine of wands? Somebody here is just your time. It's your season to meet the person you're meant to be with because these nines follow your life. The page of pentacles inverted. So someone here, like I said, still growing, still maturing, still processing. Um, almost at that point to send a message. Almost at that point to show up. Almost at that point to materialize right before your eyes. Why are there not um, pentacles in sideways? This king of pentacles. This is a person that believes in having, having things in order. Having things ready. Having things prepared. Having something in their hand tangible to show you, to prove to you. That's the thing. This, this is a person that's still working on something. It's almost there. It's almost done. It's they're almost ready. They're they're finishing up the final touches so that everything is perfect, so that you are not lacking nothing. This is a person when this person comes into your life, they're going to be able to give you all of them. The ten of wands. This could be someone who's been working on something privately in their personal life or just being prepared to be married. Be, being prepared to be a true life partner, being prepared to be a soulmate. This could be someone who's had to work on their dark side, their devil side. And now they're at the end. I'm almost ready. I'm almost here. I see you in a few days. I see you in a few weeks. It's not as long as it has been. It's not going to be as long as it has been. Now, some of you all, the soulmate is just someone simply that temp, they, they find you as temptation. You tempt them. It's not easy to be around you. They want to kiss you. They want to touch you. They want to hug you. They want to make love to you. You are their temptation. All right. Close this out. Close this out. Uh-oh. Close this out. Protection and life energy. This, this soulmate is coming in to protect you. Peekaboo, you have a soulmate that will protect you and love you for the rest of your life. And this right here is a love that was sent from eternity. There's going to be a sign, some sort of synchronicity that you're going to see about who this person is. It's your soulmate. This was meant to be. You have Sagittarius, Sag, Scorpio, Cancer, Gemini, and Leo. Peace and blessing. Great day. Hope this helps. Namaste.